What you're looking at here is activity two, part one. So what is being compared is that we took three capillary tubes. This one has the narrowest opening. This one has the widest opening. And each one was dipped into uh, a little bit of a, a water solution with food dye, so you can see the food dye. And what I want you to notice is in the capillary tubes, this one being the narrowest, this one being the greatest in diameter, notice how far the water is able to travel up the capillary tube. So what kind of a relationship can you see between the diameter of the tube and how far up the tube the water travels? That turns out to be a very, very important relationship in biology. Okay, students, this is Activity 2, Part 2, the second paragraph of that activity. And we're going to be comparing how water pours out of a plastic beaker compared to a glass beaker. So first I'm going to take the plastic beaker and we pour it out. And now the glass beaker. All right. So think about how they were different.